Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, and can be found on the liturgy sheet, which you can download from our parish website announcements page. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are
are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the Spirit of Truth and the, the Word of Truth and the Spirit of sanctifi san sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people. Yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forevermore. Glory and praise forevermore. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forevermore. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forevermore. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forevermore. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forevermore. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, God. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear from the very first account of God's creation that God made man in his own image. Male and female, he created them. And ever since then, we've begun to divide humanity between males and females. When, in fact, it wasn't a message of division or diversity that God was looking for. He was providing us a context for unity. People who are from different places come together and unite. Not a principle of division, but a principle of regeneration, a purpose to constantly create new life by the creation that he had made. God is a community, and we are made in his image. I came to God in my understanding of creating art as an artist. There are moments you can't deny where you suddenly have this kind of flash You can't explain it. It's something that comes out of you. It doesn't happen very often, and it's hard work. But even as an artist, I would just use stuff to make things. God, out of nothing but God's own self and his act, created us because he wants us to know I am. And he wanted to reveal himself perfectly. There's a sculptor named Dwayne Hansen. If you've ever been to an art, contemporary art museum, chances are they have a piece of his. But you might not even notice it because it might be a sculpture of a, of a museum guard that looks so much like a real person, you don't notice that it's art. You think it's real. He's, a, he's what's called a hyper-realist. It doesn't move, it doesn't think, it certainly doesn't love, but it looks as close to the real thing as you might be able to find. Still, it remains a thing and not a person. The life principle of God, who is love, acts because he wants to share his personhood. God begets a perfect likeness of himself, a person. Jesus says, all that the Father has, he has given to me, all that the Father has. That which is being begotten is perfect in likeness to the Father. 
And Jesus identifies this as himself and the one begetting him as his father. This is where it's very interesting because we know that God cannot change. There's the principle of immutability in God. He can't change, which means that this outpouring of love and sharing between the father and the son is something that isn't an event in the past, but is something that is ongoing always and forever. Their mutual bond of love, which cannot be separated as a thing apart from the relationship of father and son, begetter and begotten, is to a creating love which calls back into relationship with God all that God creates. In the fullness of time at Pentecost, it is the spirit of God sent upon the face of the earth that we might be recreated, restored, called back into the fullness of life in the community of the Blessed Trinity. The life of the Trinity is our origin and our goal. The Blessed Trinity is not some kind of mystery we can't understand because it is the context of our being. This process begins when we renounce our individualism, which is original sin, the error of humanity, and we embrace our baptismal promises of faith in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We become a child of God, not an individual, but as a member of a church, a community. In confirmation, we become the dwelling place of that spirit who calls us back into perfect communion of the body, in the body of Christ through the Eucharist. Our world today doesn't understand this idea of community at the core of our identity as created and fulfilled by God. Judging by the news, we are still in the garden eating the apple. Individuals, I can set myself apart from God and be just as great as he is, can't I? That was the temptation. All of us are tempted in this way to consider ourselves as individuals and others as objects, not as persons. Perhaps we don't even know what it means to be a person. The purpose of being a person, however, is relationship. And that relationship has its foundation in love, the lover and the beloved. There is no other. But you see, if I don't have to think of you as a person, then I can use you for pleasure. I can dominate you in my thirst for power. I don't have to be concerned for your suffering. I can walk past you bleeding on the street on the road to Jericho. I can discard you for my personal gain. Your life doesn't have to matter. You are a thing I can throw away, pre-born or elderly, whatever race, whatever culture. The story of what has come under the microscope these past couple of weeks is a story that has repeated itself in every country and every generation. Racism, genocide, persecution, slavery, ethnic cleansing, Holocaust. When are we going to wake up and know who we are together? There can be no I without a you. God cannot be at odds with himself. The father can't turn against the son because the son is the product of his eternal love. We can't turn against each other either unless we, not, we choose not to live in the image and likeness of God. God's persons are distinct, but they are entirely one and indivisible. There is no room for individualism. A person cannot be made into a thing. And love doesn't allow a person to be treated like a thing. Holy community is the one thing we have that is the hope of our salvation, a community based on love. Jesus said, I no longer call you slaves because you aren't. I call you friends. For all things I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. The process of begetting in the divine community of the Trinity is the same work as the Son, who became one of us in order to beget a restoration in the human community of creation. He recreates us into himself and draws us back. We are no longer in the garden hiding. We are in the garden walking with God, conversing in the fullness of the day. So now we come back to the Gospel of St. John today. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. 
But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. Let us consider how we are made in God's image and likeness and how that might change the way we act today with each other and before God. Let us pray for an end to all of these difficulties that we find in our world, for the suffering not only due to the pandemic, but the pandemic of hate that we have been experiencing and watching unfold. Within himself, Luther wrestled and overthrew a Catholicism that was not even Catholic. The book was suppressed by the church until 19... I can't figure out what that was. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father, through the Holy Spirit, has given life to the humanity of Christ, his Son, and has made him a source of life for us. Let us raise our voices in praise of the triune God. Father, almighty and eternal God, send the Holy Spirit upon your church in your Son's name. Gather it back together and preserve it in the unity of charity and the fullness of truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Send laborers into your harvest, Lord, to teach the truth to all nations, and to baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, that our lives may overflow with your love for each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless all our graduates from our many schools in the parish. Keep them in your fatherly care. Strengthen their friendship in Christ, and help them to be confident of the Spirit's presence in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all serving in the military and public service, that all might be instruments of peace and security. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the five newly ordained priests of our diocese, that they may be filled with a heart like Christ to love and serve the people of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all the living, help our sick, especially those suffering from COVID-19 and their families, and bring the dead to share in your glory life eternal in the community of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you will not leave us orphans. Help us always to pray with the confidence of dearly beloved children of so good a Father. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh. 
shall be silent, each voice in joy we raise. O Trinity most blessed, we give you endless praise. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us in your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim, too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always kept free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And since you're at home, let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have some announcements. Times are uncertain, but we continue to rely on your offering to the weekly collection to continue parish ministries. We humbly ask for your continued financial support. Please consider Faith Direct online giving. Please remember Bishop's dispensation of the obligation for attending Mass is in effect indefinitely. Our Saturday morning Masses in June will be live streamed only. That's just for the month of June. 
Saturday 5 p.m. Mass is back in the church, and we will continue to live stream this Mass beginning at 5.30 p.m. for tonight and for our Sundays, so that you can have continued access, those who cannot or are not yet comfortable attending Mass in person. Masses Monday through Friday are live streamed at 8 a.m., and we have Masses in the church at 9 a.m. If you haven't, please view our How to Attend Mass video. If you didn't have a reservation today, please do so in the future. Once the church starts to fill up, this will guarantee a seat. Also, reservations are required in an effort to keep everyone safe. By that, in that way, we can manage capacity levels and help provide assurance that we have considered you, your personal safety according to the Department of Health's recommendations. In the unfortunate event that someone become ill or reports to us that they have tested positive, this reservation system will help supply the needed information to contact trace individuals at that Mass. Mass cards for the Father's Day Novena of Masses are available in the vestibule of the church. There is also a downloadable version, an uh, intentional form, on our parish website announcements page. Remember your dads and grand grandfathers in this beautiful remembrance. Please return your envelopes by Friday, June 19. Catholic Charities St. Lucy Project is in great need of food. This coming Friday, June 12, we will once again host a no-crowd, drop-and-go, no-contact, drive-through food drive. A St. Lucy food truck will be parked in our parking lot from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to receive your food donations. We hope you can, can drive through and help so many who are in desperate need during this time. Also, that we, we will be conducting a food drive for ECHO in the St. Bernadette parking lot on Tuesday, June 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. This will be a Springfield and Burke ecumenical effort. Due to the large unemployment rate, ECHOED continues a, ne a need for a large amount of food donations of every kind. We will follow all COVID-19 guidelines to include social distance and wearing face masks. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. eternal 